There have been many great duos in the history of the NBA, but none better or more fun to follow than Kobe and Shaq. They won three titles in a row together with their teammates for the city of Los Angeles. And their names will be linked for all time. Please welcome Shaquille O'Neal. When I have imagined speaking to a group of people about Kobe Bryant, I usually picture in the context of his Hall of Fame induction or as a guest speaker at one of Kobe and Vanessa's foundation event. But never ever could I have imagined that I'd be here today speaking at his memorial. And it pains me to my core. Like all of you, I continue to be devastated over the loss of my friend, my little brother, Kobe Bryant, and my beautiful niece, Gigi. To Vanessa and the kids, Kobe's parents, sisters, and other families who lost their loved ones on that tragic day, we grieve, we grieve with you. All of us were forever changed on January 26. As we know, the Black Mama's legacy will be more than just being one of the greatest basketball players of all time. And believe me, Kobe, Kobe was truly a gifted and intelligent student of the game. I remember him saying, these guys are playing checkers, and I'm out here playing chess. And I would say, I guess so, Kobe. I don't know how to play chess. <laughs> but I can tell you that Kobe, <clears throat> what filled Kobe's heart with the most pride was his role as a loving husband to Vanessa, daddy to Gigi and Natalia, Bianca and baby Capri and a loving son and brother. Kobe was a loyal friend and a true Renaissance man. As many of you know, Kobe and I had a very complex relationship throughout the years, but not unlike another leadership duo, John Lennon and Paul McCartney, whose creative rivalry led to some of the greatest music of all time. Kobe and I pushed one another to play some of the greatest basketball of all time, and I am proud that no other team has accomplished what the three-peat Lakers have done since Shaq and the Kobe Lakers did it. <clears throat> and yes, yeah, sometimes like immature kids, we argued, we fought, we bannered or insulted each other with offhand remarks, our feud, but make no mistake, even when the folks thought we were on bad terms when the cameras were turned off, he and I would throw a wink at each other and say, let's go whoop some ass. <laughs> we never took it seriously. In truth, Kobe and I always maintained a deep respect and a love for one another. The day I gained, the day Kobe gained my respect was the guys were complaining. I said, Shaq, Kobe's not passing the ball. I said, I'll talk to him. I said, Kobe, there's no I in team. And Kobe said, I know, but there's an me in that. So I went back. <laughs> so I went back and told Rick and uh, and Big Shot Bob. I said, "Just get the rebound. He's not passing." <laughs> Mamba, you were taken away from us way too soon. Your next chapter of life was just beginning, but now it's time for us to continue your legacy. You said yourself that everything negative, pressure, challenges is all an opportunity for me to rise. So we now take that sage advice to now rise from anguish and begin with the healing. Just know that we got your back, little brother. I'll look after things down here. I'll be sure to teach Natalia, Bianca, and Baby Capri all your moves, and I promise I will not teach them my free throw techniques. <laughs> <clears throat> but for now, I take comfort in the fact that as we speak, Kobe and Gigi are holding hands, walking to the nearest basketball court. Kobe will show her some new mama moves today, and Gigi soon matches them. 
Kobe, your Heavens MVP, I love you, my man, until we meet again. Rest in peace, Kobe.